Today on Passport Kings, I'll be highlighting 60 facts that you may not know about Africa. Shout out to Samson Chitty Bentley for collaborating and providing the knowledge packed into this video. This info is great to know when you're deciding to travel in Africa. So let's get to the bottom of this. Engage. This is Passport King. Welcome aboard abroad. My name is Rock Lair. I'm a travel advisor. Passport King shows you samples of travel destinations so you can make the best choice when you're picking your next vacation. If this is a topic you like, consider subscribing to Passport Kings and ring the notification bell so you can be the first in to know when I upload new content. Number one, Africa has a population of 1.3 billion. Number two, Equatorial Guinea is Africa's only Spanish-speaking country. Number three, Morocco is the most visited African country. Number four, Nigeria has the richest black people in Africa. Number five, Samuel Ito was formerly the highest paid footballer in the world. He received about 350,000 weekly in Russia in 2011. A person from Botswana is called a Matswana. The plural is Botswana. Seven, a person from Lithoso is called Mosotho. Number eight, a person from Niger is called Nigerian. And number 8.2, a person from Burkina Faso is called Burkinabi. Number nine, Nigeria has won more football cups than England. Number 10, Zimbabwe's former president, Robert Gabriel Mugabe, was the most educated president in the world with seven university degrees, and two of them were masters. Number 11, Al Ali of Egypt is the richest football club in Africa. Number 12, Didier Drogba is Chelsea's highest goal scorer in European competition. Number 13, Johannesburg, South Africa is the most visited city in Africa. Number 14, Zinedine Denis Zidane, Zidane wanted to play for Algeria, but the selector rejected him, saying they are already many players like him on the team. Number 15, President Jacob Zuma was given a special award by FIFA for refereeing on Robin Island during his years as a political prisoner. Number 16, President Robert Mugabe was jailed for 11 years for fighting for freedom. Zimbabweans are the most educated Africans. Literacy rates in adults is 91.2% and youth is 99%. Number 19, Rwanda is a better country for gender equality than England and the USA. Number 20, Somalia got its first ATM on October 7th, 2014. 21, South Africa has the most Grammy Award winners in Africa. 22, Ethiopia has the most airports in Africa. 23, Ethiopia's economy is growing faster than China's. 24, Eritrean President Isaias Afwerki is the least richest president in Africa. 25, Ethiopia is Africa's oldest independent country. It has existed for over 3,000 years with without being colonized. 26, Haile Selassie one was the 225th and last emperor of Ethiopia. 27, Nigeria has the most monarchs in the world. 28, Angola has more Portuguese speakers than Portugal. 29, President Jose Eduardo dos Santos has ruled Angola since 1979. 30, President Teodoro Obiang Nguima Mbasogo is Africa's longest serving head of state. He has ruled Equatorial Guinea since August 3rd, 1979 when he overthrew his uncle, Francis Francisco Nguima. His son, Teodoro Nguima Obiang Mangue, is his vice president and will succeed him if he resigns. He started ruling Dos Santos. Number 31, George Weah of Liberia is the first man to win a world, European, and African footballer of the year in the same year. 32, Eswatini is the only remaining absolute monarch in the world. Number 33, the Gambia is the smallest country in Africa followed by Eswatini. 34, King Swabhusa II of Swaziland took the longest time in reigning Swaziland, 62 years as he was crowned in 1921, and died in August 1982 at the age of 83 years old. 34.2, King Swabhusa II of Swaziland married 70 wives, who gave him 210 children between 1920 and 1970. Number 35, Zimbabwe is the only country in the world where every citizen was a millionaire at one point due to hyperinflation. Now watch to the end of this video so you can read my free ebook about how to make money in the travel industry And if you haven't yet hit subscribe and press the notification bell number 36 Kenya has the highest paid members of parliament. They are paid more than those even in the oil rich countries. 37, Botswana has the most valuable diamonds and the richest diamond mines in the world. 38, Ghana was the first country in sub-Saharan Africa to gain independence post-colonialism. 39, Ghana was ranked as Africa's most peaceful country by the Global Peace Index. 
Lake Volta in the Volta region of the country is the world's largest man-made lake. Number 40. There are a wide range of ethnic groups in Uganda with many different languages spoken, namely Luganda, most common, English only a small portion speak, Bantu, Swahili, Nilotic, and Lumbasa. Christians make up 85.2% of Uganda's population. There are a certain amount of Sheikhs and Hindu and 12% of Muslims. Number 41. Tanzania is the largest country in East Africa and includes the islands of Zanzibar, Pemba, and Mafia. 42. Tanzania's population includes around 120 different African tribal groups. Number 43. The Democratic Republic of Congo is extremely rich in natural resources but has had political instability and a lack of infrastructure. Number 44. In 2009, the Democratic Republic of Congo had an estimated 24 trillion in untapped mineral deposits, including the world's largest reserve of coltan and significant quantities of the world's cobalt reserves. Number 45, Malawi is home to the third largest lake in Africa, Lake Malawi. 46, Malawi tea is known across the globe. Many of the well-renowned tea brands such as Twinnings, PG Tips, and Five Roses uses Malawi tea leaves. 47. Zambia relies on copper as one of its biggest exports. 48. Zambia's South Luangwa National Park has one of Africa's highest densities of big game. 49. Kenya is the first African country to produce a USA president, Barack Hussein Obama, and he was born in Hawaii. 50. Ghana was the first country in Africa to produce a black man serving as the United Nations Secretary General Kofi Annan. 51. Gambia produced the highest judge on the International Court of Justice, Fatou Ben Sauda. 52. The highest mountain in Africa is the Kilimanjaro, found in Tanzania and second highest in the world. 53. The longest river in the world, the Nile, starts from Uganda but is controlled by the Egyptian government. 54. South Sudan is the youngest country after it was declared free and independent in July 2011. South Sudan is rich in mineral resources and agricultural projects, petroleum among others, yet the citizens are poor. Now, to book your own trip to one of these great places in Africa, make sure that you go to www.passwordkings.com. I did numerous updates to the site to make sure that I can now offer you the lowest prices possible for your trips. The new state-of-the-art search engine will compare lots of different offers from many different search engines to make sure that you come up with the right price. So again, go to www.passportkings.com and book your trips today. All right, let's finish this off. Number 55. The African richest person is from Nigeria, Alhaji Aliko Dangote. 56. Liberia was the first African country to gain independence in 1847. 57. Cameroon is the breadbasket of Africa. Environmentalist Wangari Wa Maathia of Kenya was the first woman to win a Nobel Prize. 59. Lesotho is a landlocked country inside of South Africa. And number 60, Sierra Leone is the country with the oldest university with Western style and also the oldest church in Western Sahara. For Uruguay Bay College that was born in 1827 and St. John's Maroon Church that was born in 1808. And that concludes 60 facts about Africa that you may not know. Now remember, you can download my free ebook called Make Money Online in the Travel Industry. All you gotta do is click the link above or uh, get the link out of the description. Now, do you know some interesting facts about Africa that not many people know? Leave your comment down in the description so we can help educate each other about that great continent called Africa. And if you cringed, because I mispronounced anything in this video, um, feel free to spell it out how to pronounce it in the comment section and I'll read that and take note of it. And lastly, check out the playlist that I'm attaching to the end credits that highlights some of the trips that I've had to Africa. It should show you the experience that you can expect when you travel to Africa. And from now on, when it comes to Africa, you can brag about your wealth of knowledge like a king of passports. <laughs>